Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life! I'm very tired. We took a walk. We took a walk with Lucky down the rail trail and then up through the cemetery and back down through the cemetery and back on the rail trail. Some interesting things happened. Okay, so first of all, if there's poop, Lucky has to stop and sniff it. So we're constantly having to get him like, come on, let's go, let's go. Drag him. Yeah. And not just that, if there's, who knows what it, it is sometimes that he smells. Dogs can smell things that we can't. And, um, you know, when I walk in that direction on the rail trail, that's usually about as far as I walk. I walk maybe a little further, like, to where the, the bar is across the trail and then turn around well sometimes I stop and rest um, you know, it's actually a nice place to rest and below the cemetery there's a, there's a cliff and there's oh, well we didn't go that far but there's a cliff behind the cemetery and which kind of freaks me out because I sure hope it doesn't ever the whole cemetery doesn't and um, there's the there used to be some um, timber out there and I'd sit there although that's in the sunlight but um, we're very tired and um, so we, we start walking up the hill to the cemetery and there is this grave of this was it a two month old mm -hmm. a two month old that died in 1913 and the grave is all by itself is so lonely. I don't know why the grave is, you know, out there by itself, away from the rest of the cemetery. I wish I did know. People leave things there. There's a teddy bear, there's a wooden cross. And in the past, when we've gone by there, there have been other things there. I think critters come by and take stuff. So we continue walking up the up into the cemetery. There's this car parked there, and at first I thought they were putting flags out because there were some flags around the cemetery. Well, somebody's foot is up against the back window. Yeah, this uh, I guess teenagers, yeah, early twenties with teenagers. You can see the car shaking a little. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, we were like, oh, okay. So we just keep walking, and uh, then uh, they they like, oh no, you know, they kind of freak out, and they 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 got dressed or whatever, and sped out, and as we were, as they were s speeding out, they they were like something like, uh huh, like to us, like, or oh, you're just walking. It was you two that were doing something, not us. We caught you, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Not us. Yeah, uh, they sped down the road, you know, I'm like, okay. You're the ones that got caught, not us. Yeah, <laughs> in the cemetery, mind you. Well, I guess they're trying to find a quiet place away from home where they wouldn't... Uh -huh. Mom and Dad wouldn't jump their asses, but... Now, we have, what, basically, one, two, three cemeteries, I think. We have the original cemetery, which is very old. That's the one we go to, to grave dig in most of the time. And that's from like the 1600s and 1700s. I mean, you can't even read some of the headstones. And then you have the cemetery, which I think they're using now. And then behind that one, across the street behind that one, is a little, very narrow road. It's, I think it's called the Old Keen Road. And um, that's where there's a smaller new cemetery, but I don't, uh, but I think it's filled up. I don't think they're burying people there anymore. But the cemetery, the one in the middle, so to speak, is 
the one that's the larger one, yet they're still burying people in. Um, I kind of think that one section's the Catholic oh. part. Oh, the that back part. Oh, okay. Maybe it's the Catholic part. I don't know of any other cemeteries around here. I mean, you know, here in our town. Um, Lucky was worn out. I think he was worn out before we even got anywhere close to home. Yeah. By the time we turned around, I think he was worn out. I tried to get him to, to go down to the creek, get some water. He kind of took one or two laps. And, well, you know, I think it wasn't out of a bowl. Yeah. You know, he's not used to that. So we got back and we're very tired. And it's only. Oh, speak for yourself. Mm, well, I'm very tired. Yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. only 8:17 p.m. Zombie. Um, you know, we did see a few Sasquatch though. You got to be careful. Sasquatch will get you. Um, no bear, but there were people out there on the trail. You know, so the trail's being used now. Uh, well, it's even used in the wintertime, people snowmobile on it. We, we saw uh, what might have been a uh, piece of a snowmobile. Yeah, a piece of snowmobile, like tail light, sec the part that would cover the tail lights, or headlights, or tail lights, or whatever. Uh, so. No, I'm just yawning. So, um, I don't know. Um, and after we went on the rail trail today, I, I realized that, hey, you know what? I can walk on the rail trail again. I can walk on the rail trail going the other direction to go fishing. And I need to see how much a fishing license would cost, although I have never used one before. Um, there are gar, or pike, excuse me, in the pond that it's about a mile south of here. It takes a bit of time to get there on foot. Driving there, it doesn't take long. Five or ten minutes. But I'd rather walk. Which means taking my rod and reel and everything. And I need that means I need to get um, uh, steel leaders. And I need to get spoons. Now you can make your own spoons out of spoons. But I'm going to buy spoons eventually anyway. We're going to be really tight next month because we have to go in the mass to get our eyes examined. We have to come back up here and get online to get our glasses. We might only be able to get the wife's glasses next month and then mine the month after. We have to pay the internet bill which is over $200. We have to pay the electric, which is what, 150? Um, about 150. We need a printer. Um, and, you know, I mean, there's no point in driving down to Mass twice. We might as well. When we go down there, either uh, before or after getting the eye exam, go to Aldi's. And, uh, thankfully, we don't need as much tomato sauce as we got last time. We got a whole thing, box or whatever of it, case. Maybe a quarter or half of a case, because that stuff will actually go pretty fast. They're only 8-ounce cans, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so... Anyway, and let's see. Still need an oil change. The thing is, before we can't, I want to get ammo, which isn't going to be next month. But um, 
thankfully uh, Classic Arms has their ammo again and they're cheap believe me they're cheap I want to get a thousand rounds of 223 ammo and I want to get a case of like 440 rounds for the Mosin plus I want to get off Amazon a uh, scope and a scope mount but that's not happening next month I'd like to get a scope for the AR, but I don't know. You know, we need to get at least one more box of ammo for the for the, for this right here for the forty. I, I, I say we just use rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I know we got plenty of them up here. Yeah, and they don't cost much either. I know I'm silly, but. <laughs> You make a gun to shoot rocks. Shoots rocks. <laughs> it's on safe. Notice that I can grab it, people. So, when am I actually going to head down to the to the lake, to the pond, and go fishing? I don't know. Because we have a town pond, but I don't want to fish there. I want to fish in that other one. Because that's where they have the, the pike. But I don't have the things to fish for pike right now. At least I don't have the steel leaders. I can fish for the bass. They have bass there. I'd like to get a another little tackle box other than the one I have so it's a little... I can take everything at once and it's organized. And right now I have like two or three different things. So I'll just throw the fish back though. And I'll, hopefully we'll try and put those pictures of the grave up on Facebook. So bye bye.